Hello and yes, welcome back to another video guys. Now that's right, today it's a Saturday. Um, it's, I don't know why I looked at my time when I was telling you today, but it is quarter to 11. Um, and I'm going to be heading into Harlow. Anyone who knows where that is in the UK, it's, um, it's not the nicest of areas, but it's the closest place to me where there is a HMV and a CEX. And it's been a long time since I've gone hunting for some Blu-rays in the wild. And um, it's been an even longer time since I've done a bit of filming for you all when I went and done that. So, um, yeah, I thought, why not? Let's go do that today. Um, not really particularly looking for anything. I'm just going to go out and do a bit of filming. And if I find something that piques my interest, then, yeah, I'll grab it. Um, but we'll see, what, we'll see what we find. As I say, there isn't really anything in particular. But um, I thought this would make for an interesting video. Um, just mix up the channel a bit, go do some hunting. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get on the journey. Boop. Tragic, so I've come over here with my sister and she's dragging me into Tesco, so I might just kill myself and then come back to the video. Um, anyway, so our little side quest is over, we've been in Tesco's, it wasn't a complete disaster, look, look at this. This is great, I don't know, it's a bottle of this on Christmas, it's lovely, so I picked myself up another bottle. But now let's resume with the Blu-ray hunting. to HMV. <clears throat> and first up here we have the Gamera set from Arrow Video. Great little set there. Here's a really nice full film noir collection I found. I hadn't seen this before. A bit pricey. Children of the Corn here from Arrow. Another set I wouldn't mind picking up. And another Arrow Video set which I hadn't seen before. Got the Sartana collection there. Really nice set. Get Carter. Really good film there. Sorry, Mr. Michael Caine. And here is the box set which includes Old Man, um, Old Boy, sorry, which um, someone was telling me about quite recently on a video. And then here's a nice little Western collection I also would like to get because I do like my Westerns. Yokai Monsters and the Wolf of Wall Street there on the Arrow Video box sets. And here are some Criterions. And yeah, lots of, lots of cool titles here which I would like to pick up at some point. And of course up here we got some of the HMV premiums. Over here we're on a TV series, we got House of the Dragon. The Boys Season 3, which I need to pick up. His Dark Material Season 3, which I also need to pick up. And Westworld Season 4. I'm looking for the 4K collection of all four seasons of that. The Beatles Get Back, one of the best things I've watched in the last five years. Even if you're not a big Beatles fan, I'd highly recommend that. Up here we got some of the classic Who uh, Blu-ray cases, the normal ones, not the big box sets. And they only had one of the big box sets in. It wasn't the latest release. It was a Sylvester McCoy one. Season 24. And here's a nice Doctor Who still book. And I had a lot of Doctor Who in here. Which is always good. And then here is the box set for his Dark Material Season 1 through 3. Which I might pick up instead of just buying Season 3. So I got it all together. We got some Peaky Blinders just underneath. Fantastic show. And we got some Fear the Walking Dead. I need to get season 7. It's the only season I'm missing. But it didn't have a slip. So I didn't pick it up. Because I want to get that with a slip. 
because I have every other season slipped up. And then over here we've got Dr. No, this is the 60th anniversary, I think, or was it 50th? I think it's 50th. Um, and then yeah, we've got Bones and All here, a film I really want to watch. And Clueless, a nice little Blu-ray set of it there, didn't even realise that got a nice treatment like that. Is Bullet Train on Blu-ray? Knives Out, La La Land, one of my favourite movies ever. And over here we got some more interesting titles here. Here's the Bong Joon Ho collection, £45. Highly recommend to anyone who doesn't have it. You've got Drive My Car there. Brilliant release, maybe the best release in the movie label. The Black Phone, or another really good film. The Evil Dead trilogy. Love that, very excited to see the new one. And the Halloween trilogy. I would pick this up if I didn't absolutely hate the last film in there. Um, but you know. And then down here we've got The Terrifier. A couple films there. Um, still need to see the second one. And we've got some Scream there to finish us off in HMV. And a Scars of Dracula Blu-ray, which I didn't actually realise I got a Blu-ray release. So that is pretty cool. And now we're off into CEX. A lot of flashing lights there, I do apologise. Now, I couldn't do loads of filming in here because even though it didn't look busy there, it got very busy. Here's a really cool little Blu-ray set. Only £15. I didn't really know any of the films, though, so I didn't pick it up. Wasn't sure if it was my type of thing. A lot of Lord of the Rings stuff down there. They had loads of Blu-rays in of that. Pirates of the Caribbean, you can see there. And then down here, I really wanted to show as well because I couldn't believe it. They had three of these Star Trek sets in already, but I couldn't believe the price. I don't know how much they regularly go for, but £85 for four films on 4K seemed very extreme to me. And this here, if this was cheaper, I would have got it, but £58 for the Karate Kids on 4K, a bit steep, but I really want that set, and if it was a bit cheaper, I would have been tempted. And then, yeah, we're going to finish up here. Just went into Asda, just to see if they had any Blu-rays. And I'm going to spoil it now. They didn't. But here I am, and I picked up two things. So, we got two items today. Um, not the most successful day, I'm not going to lie. CEX disappointed me. And there really wasn't anything out in HMV, to be honest, that I wanted. So, just had a little look about. Um, I'll show you what I got when I get home, because um, I'm in my car, and it's starting to rain. So, yeah, I'm going to go home, and I'll show you what I got when we get there. So, here we are. We're back home. Um, I've got my two items that I picked up here to show you. And I also had a delivery um, while I was out of a record. Music related, not movie related. But I got I got this here in the post today. Um, Wonderful by Madness. Um, I'm a pretty big Madness fan. I grew up with Madness. My dad was like a, a huge fan. Um, staple of British pop culture and music there, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I sort of... All, Always really like Madness. And this album here from 2002, I think it's from, has never been put out on vinyl. So, yeah, very, very excited to have this in the collection, finally. I have the CD because I really like this album. It's got Love Struck On, which is a great little tune. Um, so it comes with a nice bit of information there by the looks of it on the album. And here is the record. And this here was only £11 on Amazon. So, yeah, if you're a Madness fan, it's a really good album. It's not as good as the album that comes after this. The Liberty of Norton Folgate, I think it's called. Um, people who only know Madness's earlier stuff, which is probably 90% of people. Um, <laughs> if you haven't checked out any of their later stuff, give The Liberty of Norton Folgate a listen. It's a really good record. Um, but this is a pretty good one as well. And then... Album Ue Ue Ue, something like that, I think it's called, is also coming out on vinyl because the copies of that go for like a hundred plus pound, and I'm not paying that for a madness record, so <laughs> we'll be getting the reissue of that. Anyway, let's have a look at the actual two items that I got today. And I'm gonna hold them both up at the same time because well, there I got both creeds <laughs> on 4K. Now I do have, and they're right here next to me actually, right here on the shelf. I do have um, the regular Blu-rays on these, but I really wanted to upgrade to 4K on these because I really like these films. Plus, it always bugged me the first film never had a slip, whereas now I've got a slip. Um, I've got a good friend who I'm going to give these to. But, um, yeah, you know, really, really nice to finally have these. Affordable price as well. I found it really weird that Creed 2 was cheaper, £8, and Creed 1 was 10 
Um, but let's have a look while we're here on camera if the sticker's going to come off all right. This one here is, because we know we know that CEX like to be a bit of a pain with their stickers. Um, I've always been pretty lucky. And I'm not going to be on this one because this one here is taking the gloss away, which is really annoying. Let me see if I go from the other way, if I can prevent that from happening. Um, and I don't think there's any way to recover that because it is just taking the laminate off. And yeah, unfortunately, that is the price we pay with this one. Yeah, you can see there where it's just taking the gloss away. I mean, on heads on, you're never going to notice. And it's not a huge deal, but yeah, that is slightly annoying. But anyway, um, the inside, though, is completely fine. Um, the two discs, I did check over the discs while I was in there because I am one of those fussy... CEX people, I'm like, can I have a look at the discs? Because um, I don't really like buying secondhand stuff much, to be honest. But um, yeah, there is that. And then let's have a look at this one. Annoyingly, there is gloss only on Michael B. Jordan on this one, as you can see there when you catch it on the light. So this here probably is also going to take the gloss off. Let's have a look. Um, shockingly... This one's fine. Look at that. All the gloss still intact. Um, oh, we haven't got to take this one off yet. Let's see what this one does. This is exciting, is it? This is riveting YouTube, isn't it? And this one here also isn't taking the gloss off the Creed title, which has also got a nice shiny effect on it. Um, yeah, so that one there, completely fine. Um, and then there, there is the back. And the inside. So yeah, I'm all ready for the third Creed film on 4K now. Now I'll, I'll have them all on 4K because I was planning to pick the third one up on 4K because I really enjoyed it in the cinema. And I'm a huge fan of the Rocky films and these. I mean, I know the Rocky films have just come out in 4K and I'd love to get them because they look amazing. Um, I have this big set of them in it. But it's annoying because they haven't put Five or Balboa out on 4k which i find really strange but uh, yeah the temptation to buy the first four films in 4k as well to go with these now is it's going to be difficult but look at that the space is already there for them and they are on the shelf beautiful we love that <laughs> anyway that's it for this video guys i hope you've enjoyed as always sorry if the footage wasn't brilliant cex was absolutely packed so i couldn't do too much filming in there um but as always i do hope you guys have enjoyed the video um don't forget to like that like the video i've done this in the wrong order don't forget to like to to leave a comment like and subscribe i think that's the order i normally go in a complete brain malfunction then um anyway thank you so much for watching as always guys um and yeah i'll see you next time for another video bye bye